Hey folks, um, this NVIDIA software, I hate it. I, I like keep having to stop and restart it, and it keeps stopping itself whenever I all tap or do anything. I, I kind of makes me want to strangle somebody. Learn how to make a software that captures video, please. Okay, there's my rant. So, I'm using this GPU Tweak 3 on the Astral LC RTX 5090, and holy sh Nike. Look at this. 6,002 added to the memory clock, 34,004. It won't do any more than that. You can try. This slider, you can see over here, 34,002. I apply. It will not go any higher. Even though you apply that clock, it will not do anything here. So, why why do it, you know? Just leave it at 34,002. Thirty-four oh three, close enough. Uh, my core gets iffy much after this, so I leave it there. And the clock actually goes above three thousand, like thirty fifty or something. It was going to. I I don't know why. It's like the clock is a little weird. Um, so I don't know exactly how reliable it is. But make sure you won't be able to do this and bring this up to site unless you go into this little gear cog, and you do enhance overclocking range. You know, you do your apply previous settings, start minimize, start with windows, all that kind of stuff. If you want to do fan curves, they're over here. I've replaced my fans for the rad, so this rad speed doesn't actually do anything for me. But uh, these two do, the blower and my external fans, because I have six fans hooked up, daisy-chained, to both of the fan headers on the graphics card. So, this is a little different. You might be used to seeing ones that go up this way. This is like up up it's, you know weird so your temps here fan speeds here so mine is always doing 30 percent speed until i hit 40c then it goes up to 60 and it stays there which is basically anytime i start playing a game it won't hit 40c unless i'm in a game and then it just locks at 60 because i don't like anything higher than that because it's too loud i don't like that um but yeah this thing is a monster if this is accurate and there's a big question. Is it accurate? Then it's a monster. I mean, it's a total beast. Um, I don't know if my temps went up. They were lower the other day. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, ambience or something. But, uh, wow. It's really insane. I can't believe it. Um, so, when I click on the game here, NVIDIA, whatever itself, is going to cancel. I'm going to have to start it again just to show you how Cyberpunk's working. So, Cyberpunk, because people might think, you know, I don't know, bullshit. Uh, everything's maxed out. DLAA, you know, DLSS, Super Res, everything's maxed out. Field of view 90. I know that's not the default, right? It's like 80 is the default. Is that what it is? I think it is, actually. So, I'm going to leave it on the default. For testing purposes, everything's maxed out. I have things on that I usually don't even put on, like motion blur and depth of field. But I will not. Oh, film grain? No. Uh, I will not use it. I'm sorry. Sue me. Video 3840, 2160 windowed. So, let's show you what it can do. We're looking at right now 138. The lowest I've seen it hit is like 109. That's not to say it won't go lower. You know, if the shit starts hitting the fan, obviously. It's running very smooth right now. It's running from 137. Incredibly smooth. If that memory is actually correct, then dang. Uh, 116 right there, 170. Uh, so maybe it brought the lows up a little bit. Maybe it brought the highs up a little bit. But for that kind of overclock, I honestly expected. 
much more. Um, but anyway, there you go. That's overclocking the 5090. Have a good one, you folks. Don't know me, but you will. Your name's Dino.